Hi mommies, welcome back to the Nocturnal Mommy. In this video, I've compiled two days worth of work into less than 20 minutes. If you're interested in seeing how I deep clean my kitchen, just keep watching. If I'm having a hard time figuring out where to start, I almost always start with the fridge. I clean the fridge weekly so I toss out any expired things regularly, um, but I only deep clean the kitchen, or I'm sorry, but I only deep clean the fridge every three months or so. So I start by first taking out everything out of the fridge, followed by disassembling the shelves so I can wash them. Then I use hot water with some dish soap to wipe out the entire fridge, making sure to wipe in the crevices for stuck on gunk. Then I remove the door trays so they could get a nice wash as well. Younger, I worked in the restaurant industry and this is something we often did, except for my soaking solution is using hot water and about a tablespoon of vinegar to soak the caps of the condiments. Um, while those are soaking, I give the condiment bottles a good wipe and clean the tips before replacing the caps. So here's an overview of the finishing product. Um, my fridge is pretty scarce because I obviously needed to go grocery shopping, but let me just show you a few organization tips. So in the white bin, I just keep cheeses and some um, like cinnamon roll biscuit breads and stuff like that. And then in that clear tray, I just keep uh, meats and stuff. And in the drawer, um, I typically only keep uh, kid-friendly snacks in here. So right now I only have string cheese and chocolate milk. And then in this clear acrylic tray, I always keep um, yogurt and some fruit cups. Uh, I find this tray is perfectly sized for things like that. This top drawer, I always keep, you know, lettuce and fruits and uh, strawberries and like just typical berries and stuff, I always keep in that drawer. And then the bottom drawer, I always keep veggies. Now I'm 
moving to the silverware drawer. I didn't have um, to do any purging, so I just gave this drawer a good clean. This is our junk slash dish towel drawer. This area typically doesn't get too cluttered, so I just gave this drawer a good cleaning and organized it a little bit more. Um, our dish towels are currently in the washer, so um, in the end you'll see that it's lacking a little bit of dish towels, but just to throw that out there, the dish towels are still washing. And this is the end result just a few knickknacks a lighter and in the back there is where I will typically roll up my dish towels and store them okay so moving over to my serving ware slash knife drawer I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of purging I'm just gonna get rid of some things that aren't holding their shape anymore and since I am working with such a small area I had to limit my organization bins to two small um, bins and I'm just going to go ahead and reorganize after I purge and clean up this drawer a little bit. This last drawer holds our straws and our tea essentials. This area has been organized for the past couple of months and it has maintained its functionality given that we use this drawer quite frequently. Okay, and here's the start of another day. I'm starting out by wiping the exterior of the cabinets. About a week prior to filming this, I had already wiped and organized most of the interior cabinetry, so you won't see me doing that in this video, um, but I will show you later on how I do organize the cabinets. So I'm just going to clean the exterior cabinetry with a hot water and just soap solution and a heavy duty rag. So moving to the top of the fridge, I'm just going to remove everything on top of the fridge and you'll see in a little bit how grimy the top looks. So I'm going to go ahead and dust off the top and the cabinetry. So this is what the top of my cabinets look like, so I made sure I wiped everything. And I thought I had gotten enough footage of this, but my uh, memory card had somehow ran out of memory and so I wasn't able to capture me cleaning the entirety of the top of the cabinets, but here's just a little snip clip. So these were the items that were on top of the fridge, so I'm just going to give them a quick wipe down and then put them back. going to start wiping down the bottom cabinets and only this time I'm using a Lysol wipe because my children typically touch these bottom cabinets a lot so I want to make sure they're free of germs. So throughout the entire process of deep cleaning the kitchen, this is the part that I dreaded the most and you'll see why. This is a before shot. through and purge the things that um, I don't want to keep anymore that you know that will be a blessing to someone else so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I would never ask you
you to give up things I just wanna give you all I can There's something but you, baby, I can't get enough There's something that you give me, I can't get enough You don't need to tell me that you love me I don't mind waiting for it to show the main areas of the kitchen are organized and clean, I'm just going to start cleaning the countertops with the Caldrea countertop spray. kitchen I access daily so I needed this space to be very minimal. I just have my most used spices in those Ikea glass jars, some measuring cups, and spoons. The next shelf I just have some of my Pyrex containers with their lids attached. I also have um, some of those plastic containers for school lunches in that teal bin, my glass mixing bowl, and some medicine containers. Here's a basic overview of how I organized our plates, bowls, and cups. So here's an overview of the kids' cupboard and that big white basket there has their sippy cups and plastic water bottles and the top shelf has our water bottles and some of my favorite cookbooks. Those stackable green bins have my son's school essentials as well as some restaurant necessities. And this is how I have our pots and pans organized. Um, pans on the top shelf, pots on the bottom shelf, and then I just have this lid organizer that organizes our lids. And there's a command strip on the back of that door that holds our oven mitts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!